Like Roger Federer, Vincent van Gogh took quite a while to discover and develop his talent. He worked first as an art dealer, an assistant math teacher, a bookstore clerk, a failed would-be pastor. At age 33, he enrolled in art school alongside students a decade his junior. When he entered the class drawing competition, the judges examined his work and suggested that he revert to a beginner's class with 10-year-olds. He tried and failed to master watercolors and realism, expressionism and landscapes, until he finally tried working with an easel and oil paints. And at last, he'd found his niche. He emerged with a new art, impetuous, slathered with paint, erupting with color, laden with no formality other than to capture something infinite. With the success of Angela Duckworth's fantastic book, Grit, it's easy to look at Van Gogh's winding, failure-laden path and dismiss it as the product of impatience or a lack of perseverance. But in reality, Van Gogh was in pursuit of what economists call match quality, the degree of fit between the work someone does and who they are, their interests and abilities. And if you believe that you'd find greater match quality a different job or in a different career altogether, it may be a good idea to switch. The Freakonomics co-author Stephen Levitt once proposed a challenge to his readers. For those considering a life change, they should flip a digital coin. If it came up heads, they'd make the change. If tails, they wouldn't. Over 2,000 volunteers claimed they were considering a job switch. And six months later, those who flipped heads and switched jobs were substantially happier than those who stayed. Labor economist Carabo Jackson has demonstrated that even the dreaded administrative headache known as teacher turnover captures the value of informed switching. He found that teachers are actually more effective at improving student performance after they switch to a new school, and that that effect isn't explained by switching to higher achieving schools with better students. Teachers tend to leave schools at which they are poorly matched, he concluded. Especially now that we know how overrated head starts can be, there's a lot of potential benefit to pursuing match quality, even if that does mean quitting a couple times along the way. It's a scary leap to make, for sure, but the research is clear that switchers are often winners.